Hi, my name is Brian Durning, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and insert an interactive flash object with two SAP Crystal products. So let's begin. What you're looking at right now is Crystal Dashboard Designer, formerly known as Excelsius. On the left-hand side, I've selected a ticker, which happens to be a selector value, and I place it on the canvas and stretched it to an appropriate size. Next, I'm labeling it. Don't have to give it a title, but just to keep the components straight, I do that. Next, we need values for labels and the value labels. In the spreadsheet, I place column headers. I only do this for my edification. It keeps me honest in knowing where I'm binding what to what row. Next, I'm going to highlight rows. The reason I do this is so that I set these aside and don't do any other calculations within Excelsius. In the first column, I'm going to format it to a number value. I happen to know that the value I'll be retrieving from the crystal report is a number value. In the second column, it's currency. Once that is done, I go over to the labels and value labels area where I'm going to bind back to the spreadsheet. Once this is done, I go over to the Behavior tab. Now we selected 24 rows, but we won't always fill all the rows with data, so I select Ignore Blank Cells. I don't like the item separator, so I'm going to put some asterisks in there to show more definition. Next we go over to Appearance, and I want the ticker to blend into the background, so I remove the Show Ticker Background. The title isn't important here, but the display values are. And you can see because of the formatting that the currency was selected. I'm turning off title. I'm going to go back to the general tab and just ensure that the labels and value labels are still bound to the correct cells. And they are. Next, we fit canvas to the component. And now we're going to add the data. We select Crystal Reports Data Container, bind the row header to the label row, and the data to the value labels area. Here I'm going to make a note to myself. Now we go over to File, Export, Flash. And to show you that I'm not cheating, I'll call it Northwind Ticker Crystal. And we'll save. Now over in the Crystal Report, I want to insert it up in the group header. You can either insert from a right click or up in the toolbar. Browse, select your Swift file. You can either embed or link it. I'm going to embed this one. There will be no data once the flash file is inserted, so do a right click and select Flash Data Expert. Here we're going to bind values from the Crystal Report and pass them over to the interactive flash file. Select Order ID and Net Sales. And you can see from the animation on the right that data is already in there, and that's what it will probably look like. Select OK. And there you have an interactive flash file inserted into a crystal report.